Hey there, we're back. This time we're going to go through how to do linear regression with the calculator and moreover get the calculator to graph it for you. Wouldn't that be great? Alright, so let's remember where we were. We have had stat edit. We have the data in that was from the notes or if you don't know those notes, it's okay. There's just a problem over here about smokeless tobacco. And now we're going to try to find the linear model. Now let's first go back and look at our y equals. We don't want this equation anymore, so let me clear that out. And let me go up and press enter. And that way when I move away, it's still dark. And then I'm going to press zoom 9, and it'll make an automatic window that fits the scatter plot. Great. Now, stat edit is where you enter the data. Over here is the calculate menu for statistics. So you want to move to the right, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Now in chapters 2 and 3, we're only going to work with number 4, linear regression. Number 5, you're going to work with in chapter 6 and 7. And number 9, you can't see it right now, but you're going to you work with that one right there. Oh, 0, excuse me. In some calculators, I believe it's 9. In some calculators, it's 0. It's exponential regression, which you work with in chapters 4 and 5. So we want number 4, linear regression. So let me go to that. Or I could just press the number 4, or you can go up to it and make it dark and press enter. There you go. It doesn't matter that it's got all these numbers on there. It's not going to hurt anything. So it's saying linear regression ax plus b. Should look a lot like mx plus b, right? Because it's the equation of the line. Now if I just press enter right away, it finds the equation of a line. The equation of the line through these points is y equals negative 0.554x plus 13.432, yada, yada, yada. Now it has all these decimal places. I like to keep them all because if I keep them, that keeps a lot of accuracy for me. But if I go back and look at my equation, mm, I don't feel like going to go type all of that. That's annoying. So let me show you how to do it. Stat, calc, number four. But instead of pressing enter right away, let's do a little funky stuff. Let's press the variables button, V-A-R-S, that stands for variables. It's right here below your left arrow. And you're going to move to the right to the Y variables menu, because we want a Y variable. You would always choose number one function, so press one or press enter, either way will work because it's already dark, so I'll press enter. And then choose whichever one you want it. Let's say I want to store this as Y1, so I'm just going to press enter because Y1 is already dark. So it's saying, I will run the linear regression for you, and I will store it in Y1 for you. So now let me press Enter. And it did it. It looks like nothing happened, right? It's the same thing as before. Ah, but something did happen. Press Y equals. You can see that it put the equation in there for you. Isn't that great? And wait, if you press Graph, it'll graph that line for you. And look, there's the linear regression line. It kind of averages out all the points for you and does a pretty decent job of coming close to all of them, although it generally doesn't go through any one particular point. So that's how to do linear regression and how to get the calculator to store it for you in y equals. Now, let's suppose you want to see what some of those values were. Don't forget, you still have the table. Now, the table's the values of the points on the line. They're not the values of the points that you put in. I mean, for example, look at this. 12 goes to 6.781. But when you look at stat edit, 12 went to 6.5. Well, what's the difference? The stat edit are the dots right here. The table is giving you all the values that are on the line. And they're not the same thing. See how they're different from each other. So don't confuse the two. I know they look a lot alike, but table is the values on the line, and stat edit is the values from the actual data from the problem. And another thing is that in the table you can keep going, seeing different values. And up at the top, instead of saying L1 and L2, like list 1, list 2, it'll say X and Y1. That's your clue that this is actually the table area, not the stat edit area. Stat edit only has those six or seven numbers that we typed in ourselves. That's it. No more. You can't get any more unless you type them in yourself. All right, that's the end of linear regression. I'll see you around for the next tutorial.